Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing video for the latest Imperial Assault Wave 5 release, the Alliance Smuggler Ally Pack. My name is Simon. I'll be doing the unboxing today. So what I'm going to do is just open up the pack and just show you the contents. Now as much fun as it'd be to watch me sit and try and cut through the clamshell, here's one I cut through earlier. <laughs> So, the Alliance Smuggler, interestingly, has not been in any of the big box expansions or anything else before, so this is this is all brand new. He's not a plastic replacement for a pre-existing token or anything. So he is just a brand new character, which is interesting. So, we'll take a look through, so give you a brief overview of what's in there. We get the figure, a rule sheet, which is under here, deployment cards for using him, Command cards, side mission card, and skirmish mission cards. So let's take a quick look at the Yoldi pamphlet. Gives you a breakdown of all the components you're getting in there. Also shows you the map layout, the Imperial Hub command for the skirmish map in there as well. Skirmish attachments. And again, it shows you the precious cargo deployment setup as well for that mission mission briefing and stuff like that in there as well. So, if you have picked one of these up, make sure you don't throw this bit away, which I've heard of people doing before, so, because it's very useful and important to have. <laughs> so, there's that. And then I'll show you the cards you get in here as well, and get them in a nice little jiffy bag. So, I probably have played the campaign through this. I've seen a couple of skirmish games but I've not actually played skirmish nor does it, uh, do I see it actively being played so my opinion is going to be formed mostly on the um, campaign not the skirmish. So here we have the Alliance Smuggler, the whole reason you bought the pack if you, presumably. So he's a smuggler ally of course um, for the rebels. So he has, uh, as you can see, it costs two. You only get one model. You say you only get the one of him. It's not a squad of them. Uh, three health, movement of four. He's got white defense dice, and his attack is a green and a yellow. He can use the surge abilities for stun, pierce one, and plus two accuracy. So he's not bad at shooting. You know, he's not the most powerful thing out there. Um, having stun and pierce and the accuracy available as surges and he's on those two dice means he can do a variety of little different things when attacking he also has smuggler's instincts so for an action he can do an interact then move up to two spaces this could be useful for doing things like opening doorways for example now in campaign you can't use him say to climb an objective or a crate or something I'm pretty sure you can't use crates and campaign with allies I'm pretty sure um, but I'm guessing in skirmish mode, he oh, sorry, I'm guessing in skirmish mode he could be used for a lot more. Uh, he then also has slippery, so befitting of a smuggler. Uh, while defending, apply minus two accuracy to the attack results. After an attack targeting resolves, gain two movement points. So he also not only does he have the white defense dice. Uh, the minus two actually means it's almost quite likely if you've kept him at a clever range that your opponent, um, the Imperial player, is going to miss. So his chance of survival is fairly decent. And then we look at the elite version, so it costs another couple of points. He has stun still for his surges, but he also gains focus. Pierce goes up to two and actually goes to three. Uh, his smuggler's instinct now lets him move three spaces. Uh, but his slippery is the same, minus two accuracy and gain two movement afterwards. His health goes up by two, his speed increases and his attack dice stays the same. So for the extra two points you are getting, you're getting quite a bit on there I feel just because the focus pierce two and three accuracy and the three space and the two health and yeah, I feel like you get quite a lot of bang for your buck there with the extra two points for the upgraded version. We have the skirmish upgrade here, so like I said, unfortunately I don't play skirmish mode, but I yeah, would still read through it. So smugglers run as an attachment, um, smuggler only, uh -huh, good thing we have one. And as an action, deplete this card while you're in your opponent's deployment zone to gain 5 VPs. Sounds good to me. 
We have a side mission, so if you're playing through the campaign, this is how you're going to get the Alliance Smuggler as an ally. So it's called Precious Cargo, and then obviously you run the Precious Cargo side mission, which um, by the looks of it is effectively get through the map, get to the cargo, and that way you get to use an Alliance Smuggler. Um, so this is the, um, sorry, the, I can't remember the name of the car off the top of my head. So, uh, it's right in front of me, Uplink. Uh, so, Imperial Command Hub. Um, a player a figure can retrieve the data link. A space is not considered adjacent to a space containing the data link if only the edge or corner of those spaces share is impassable. A figure carrying the data link can interact with the red terminal if it does discard the data link in the figures play against 16 VPs. So, I'm guessing for skirmish players, this is going to make a lot more sense. <laughs> then we also have delivery system. Um, if a player controls a road terminal, the wall between the hangar and the desert path does not block movement. Line of sight, adjacency, or counting spaces for the figures. A figure can retrieve an energy cell. Each figure can carry only one of these, though. And each figure on the hangar gains action. If you're adjacent to an impassable space, discard an energy cell for your player to gain 6 VP. So there we go. Then we also have the smaller upgrade cards. So again, for skirmish mode, but I still go through them. Smuggled supplies for smuggler. Um, use at the start of your activation to recover two health. Apply one surge to your attack results until the end of the round, or apply plus one. Uh, is it the evade to your defense results until the end of turn? So that's pretty useful. Heart of freedom. Use at the start of your activation to discard one harmful condition, recover two health, and gain two movement points. That's That sounds pretty good. Self-defense. So any figure this time. Use when a hostile figure enters a space adjacent to you. That figure suffers one damage. Could be very useful. And smuggler's tricks. Choose a tile or token, so action. Choose a tile or token you are on or adjacent to. Until the start of the next round, your opponent counts as having one fewer figures on or adjacent to that tile or token. I'm guessing this is useful for things like objective play. Um, it sounds like a cool trick. I'm going to assume as it is as such for the skirmish mode. <laughs> and then the last thing to show you is the figure. So big improvement that they make these figures over the um, just always having to use the little cardboard tokens so I'm just going to bring that right up to the camera and so you can see the model hopefully the camera is yeah, camera zoomed in now and there you can actually see the figure the detailing is really nice on, on the chest piece he's very Han Solo-esque um, I won't lie there um, but he has the cool looking goggles, um, lots of pouches, sash, uh, sashes all over him, all the belts, because you always need a belt. On the back, they've even included detailing on the back of the coat, um, his hair, even his hair looks well done in this. <laughs> so, overall I'm quite impressed with the model, I think it's come out quite nicely. I really like the pose as well. Very dynamic, a lot of uh, action there. It's a good pose. Yeah. So yeah, overall, I think that's a fantastic figure. I think it's really cool to have that one. Uh, one of our regulars in the store loves, doesn't play the game, but does love to paint the figures, and I'm sure he's gonna have a good time painting that one, because it's, it's a gorgeous figure. So yeah, so. There we go, that is everything you get in the uh, Alliance Smuggler Pack. It's only a little expansion. I imagine if you play Skirmish, there's a lot more to this for you than campaign players. Yes, you get the side mission for the campaign, but really, you know, you're buying the Alliance Smuggler for a chance to be able to complete the side mission to be able to get him. So, for campaign players, I think this one can probably be. Um, temporarily left out, you know, pick it up when you can, but um, for skirmish players there seems to be a lot more value in here, especially with these upgrades, so if you play skirmish, grab this pack, if you play campaign, yeah, grab it when you need to. And there we go, that is everything in the Alliance Smuggler Pack. Of course, if you just wanted to get single components for it, 
go to our website bigorbitcards.co.uk and all these individual components are on sale and can be traded in on our website so if you do have some excess cards and models and stuff you can trade them in on our website buy yourself some more pretty things like some more figures to paint for example or some upgrade cards you might be missing so yeah so that's on our website bigorbitcards.co.uk Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. There's plenty more Imperial videos and I'll also be doing one for the the other product in Wave 5, the Banther. Looking forward to that one. So, yeah, that, uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. That's bye from me, Simon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.